could someone explain to me what the hell did I just watch? All right, all right, update on uh, my reaction. So if you're watching this and you have not seen my reaction, there's a reason why. So yeah, uh, me and Gabe are watching Logan together, but he wants to turn on the volume. I'm like, uh, can we not do that? Because I don't want to get a copyright claim, but he just couldn't hear, couldn't hear crap. And I get a notification. I got a copyright claim, but surprisingly, I didn't get a copyright claim on my part two. My re Loki reactions split into parts because the episode's like 49 minutes long. But uh, yeah, tell that let's. I'm crossing my fingers that it'll be approved. I just already did a dispute just now, like a minute ago, a couple minutes ago. But uh, cross fingers will be released public because if they approve it, then I'll release my reactions. So. Yeah, I just want to let everyone know about that. I have footage, but if it doesn't get approved, I'm going to have to screen record it on my phone and then edit it. Yeah, like I did for the first part for season one of episode one of Loki. And season one, now you're probably wondering, wait, season one, is season two confirmed? Season two is definitely going to happen, no doubt. I heard, we heard, we all heard season two is in development, so it is definitely going to happen. It is definitely for sure going to happen, but I got to be quiet. It's like 1.28 a.m. in the morning. I, I need water. My voice sounds like crap. Oh my god, I... I have so many thoughts. My my brain's malfunctioning. I can't think straight. I cannot think straight. I thought last episode already got me insane with the TV now revealed to be bad, but Marvel. What are you doing to me? I don't know what the hell you're doing to me, but whatever it is you're doing to me, I'm loving it because I guess I'm now I guess I, I like it when I just lose my insanity because I'm still losing my insanity because, oh my god. Honestly, honestly, there is not even a bad episode in the series. Each episode gets good. I freaking love the first episode. Episode 2 got a whole lot better. 3 got a whole lot better. A whole lot, a lot, a lot better. Just got like two freaking episodes. Two freaking episodes. Two freaking episodes. <laughs> it's insane. And we finally got a damn post grad scene. So, yeah. It's about damn time. But, oh my god. Where do I even start? Where do I even start? The best part about this is titled Nexus Event. I mean, I'm, I'm going... I was most... I'm just... I'm going insane about the Nexus Event. I'm pretty much... I'm, the TV are pretty much bad, but... I'm also concerned about the... Sacred timeline. Is it just BS or are they actually serious about the timeline or something? I mean, just. Jeez, I have so many questions. Just. Alright, 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 alright. Let's start off with the opening part of the episode. We pretty much get a backstory of Sylvie, and I, if I remember correctly, I had heard we were gonna get a very, very heartbreaking backstory to help Sylvie knows about the TV, how this all had happened in the first place, and. We're, we technically do get that. She, she's just playing with her toys in Asgard, but then suddenly the TV just shows up out of nowhere and just takes her, calls her a variant. I'm just like, what? The? Not only it's horrible, but it's also messed up. It is also messed up. It is so messed up. Like, I don't understand. Why would they take her? She wasn't doing anything. It looks like doesn't make any sense. I'm just trying to figure out why the hell they took Sylvie from her home like that and just reset the timeline. Just that doesn't make any sense. How was she creating a nexus of that? That that does not make any sense. But I got right on to Sylvie. She's she nasty because she literally bit. She literally got she 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 freaking yeeted out of there in seconds. You know. She got out of there. Easy collapse. Easy collapse. She got out of there in seconds. But still, it was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. I just couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. I could not believe that TVA did that. And just... 
TVA. Oh, worse than I thought, you know. And I'm surprised Gabe knew that the TVA were bad because, I, you know, like I said in my last review for episode three, at first I thought I couldn't trust the TVA because I guess I didn't like the idea how Loki was captured by these people. Like, who are these people? The TVA? Wait, they're called the TVA? TVA? What? I didn't like the idea how they how Loki was captured, but. But, I mean, I was starting to trust them a little bit with the trailers, but for episode one, they won me over. I've been fooled. I've been fooled. I was technically sort of right, but I've mostly been fooled. But, God, God, good God, the TV are worse than I thought. If anyone doesn't remember, uh, so the character is C20, if I remember correctly. C20, who was in episode two and the beginning of episode three, you know, was like, when she says it's real, it's real, and I'm like still wondering what she means by it's real, but they freaking killed her off. TVA freaking killed her off because it's, they just covered the tracks. They're covering the tracks. She. So 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 um Sylvie just showed her true memories. She she basically showed her the truth about the TVA that she was taking from her friends from her home, and then instead they. Kill her off, but honestly, I don't know if she's really dead. We'll have to see until the next episode, and I'll, I'll explain why about that. But oh my freaking god! I all right. If agree to disagree, Loki is definitely that. Loki's definitely got a crush on Sylvie. There's no freaking doubt. There is no freaking doubt. And here's why I'm at. Here's what happened. Here's the reason why I'm actually really happy about this because I was interested and was hoping that Loki would soon one day get a love interest. I didn't know what, I mean, I didn't know much, but I'm like, I'm just like this one day, will Loki ever get a love interest? Oh, well, guess what? That, that may come true. That may come true because, you know, in the second episode of Loki, I randomly started shipping them and I thought, that felt wrong of me, I guess, since they're kind of both the same, but different or something. I don't know. But then again, people ship people all the dang time. You know, so I guess there's no, there's nothing to be ashamed of, but... I was, I, I, the wind, I'm like, in the beginning of the when Loki and Sylvie are about to die, I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa, are they gonna kiss? Are they, are they gonna kiss? Are they gonna kiss? Bro. My ship might be coming true. I, I I think it's gonna come true. I think there's a gonna. I mean, oh my god, I'm I'm losing it. I'm losing it, because literally just moments. But just okay. So Loki is Loki's definitely got a crush. She's got a crush on Sylvie. There's no freaking doubt. There's no freaking doubt. Loki. <laughs> oh my god. This is just, jeez, oh my god, I'm going insane. I'm freaking going insane. And, oh my god, this, I keep saying, oh my god, I can't even talk correctly. You see, this episode has damaged me. It has broke me. It has messed up my mind. I cannot think straight. I, I don't think I'm even going to go, I, I, I don't even think I'm going to go to bed. I'm probably just going to watch the episode again. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm probably going to fall asleep anyways, because I did took sleeping pills, so. Yeah, I'll fall asleep in seconds, but I should probably get some sleep anyways. It depends, really, I guess. I mean, I shouldn't even make a video now, because I can honestly wake up my dad and upset him on just staying up. I'm just trying to finish this, and then I'll probably just hit the bed. But they did my boy dirty. They they killed off Mobius when, because Loki he thought Loki was lying about the TVA were pretty much bad, and he's like. He's lying, right? Okay, I'm gonna go investigate real quick. He's, not, he's totally lying. He's totally lying. There's no... Oh my god. Loki was telling the truth. Still, I was so happy when he finally believed Loki, but then... Oh, crap. Run Slayer. She, she, uh, uh, Mo, Mobius got caught. And in this scene... What are you talking about? The one place I want to go. I want to jet ski. I, I just love it how Mobius wants to jet ski so badly. We better see. We better see Mobius get his wish come true. We better see him. 
jet ski in in, in the series because if not, I'm gonna be upset. I'm already upset that we're not even gonna hear him say "wow," which I think is apparent. Well, I, I, that's, a, that's apparent. That's, that's, it's apparently a big deal. I mean, I guess I might have heard that as from when I, from my childhood, but I mean, I'm like, wait, what's with the big deal with him saying "wow"? Wow, wow, I guess it's the way he says it. And then I had immediately fall, fell in love with that. The way he's like, wow, wow, wow. Still, he better be, he better get his dream come true. I mean, just when he says, he just when he just tells Rensselaer what he wants so bad, they freaking prune, prune, or in other words, kill Mobius. I'm just... No joke, I'm about to cry, but I guess I just hold it in. Which I guess I'm now upset. I could have cried on command. I could have cried on camera, but I just hold I just held it in. I was pissed and I was worried if the episode was gonna end there, but thank freaking god it did not. Thank freaking god it did not. Cause then you're showing to the kind timekeepers. Now soups has been saying timekeepers aren't real. Now I was definitely gonna I was definitely believing them about that after episode three but then what the hell they're real after all well then oh, i was shocked to find out they were real around the beginning of the episode also renslayer had taken sylvie which is another shocking thing you should know but still i'm like hoping king 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 the conqueror king the conqueror king the conqueror come on give, come on give us king me, me and gabe were just like come on show us king show us king you what the the hell is this? What are these guys? These guys are hideous. This isn't Kang. Where is Kang? Where, where, where in the hell is Kang the Conqueror? But, but still. Oh man, just when they're about to die, B-15 to the rescue. Shout out to B-15. She freaking saved the day with, with the little piece. And if, if, if Sylvie hadn't, um, she was acting a little sus in, in a couple of moments in the episode, and and then she just takes Sylvie back to Rockstar, Rockstar, basically 2070 or 2050, you know, the apocalypse thing. No, I think it was 2050. I cannot remember. And she asks, what was it that I saw in my head? And I'm like, what is he talking Oh, right, because Sylvie kind of hijacked her body, her mind in episode two. But still, if it weren't for her, B-15 would have never been able to save Loki and Sylvie, so... Shout, shout, freaking shout out to B15, and I'm hoping she's still alive because I, I wasn't paying attention. I was getting hyped, and I couldn't tell if she either got killed. I mean, if she got killed, that's probably fine because again, I will explain. I'll explain about the death part. I'll explain about the death part. I'll explain about the death part later. Let me just get a couple of things off my chest. So, so oh, shout out to Sylvia. She's nasty. She freaking nasty when she freaking threw that sword and just. Headshot, headshot to one of the timekeepers. But then, like, wait a minute, what that is that? Did I just saw a freaking robot? Wait, what the hell? Plot twist. They aren't real. And now, Loki is just like, who created the TVA? That's a damn good question, Loki. Who in the hell created the TVA? For, I, 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 like I said last up, last review, the new Mephisto. For this is Kang the Conqueror. Now Kang better appear. Because I was a little disappointed with the Mephisto not coming through. But still, Kang, he's gotta appear. He has to appear. He has to. And he has got to be behind this. He has to be. He has to be. He has to be behind all of this. There's no freaking way. Plus it makes sense, because this is TVA are technically time travel cops. So it would make sense since he's a time travel villain. Still, he's got to be freaking behind this. And just when all hope seems lost, Loki, I'm like thinking, is he going to kiss her? Please kiss, please kiss. Because I think, I think, I don't know, the, uh, this is just a theory I have. I think Loki no, n thought that if he kissed uh, Sylvie, it would create a nexus event, destroy the TVA for good. But either he was going to kiss her or make a confession, love confession. Because I was getting hyped to see this happen. I was like, Oh my god, uh, please happen, please happen, please happen. Because, for example, it's just like how we're finally going to see Marinette and Adrian. 
become a couple in Miraculous. Just like, finally, come on, yes, 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 yes. For example, about the Marinette and Adrian from Miraculous Playbook. But just when Loki's about to say something or either kiss her, boom! First, we hated Hayward's guts for what he did in episode 5 and 6. But the new hate, the new character we're going to hate their guts for is freaking Renslayer. She freaking crossed the line. She freaking crossed the line. And there's one thing I got to say that Soup's head said. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that part. I'm going to play that part. I'm going to play that part if I can find it. Uh, I'm not just going to go find it, so I'll be right back. Uh, All right, yeah, I found it. I found it. Listen to this. And then they, Loki's about to confess his love for Sylvie, and then he gets dusted. dusted what? Bro, dusted. Yo, by the way, we're going to rest right here. Screw you! Yo. Fats. Freaking fats. Freaking fats. Yeah, and I agree with Sims. Screw you, Ren Slayer. You freaking crossed the line, you son of a beep. You freaking crossed the line. When Loki was about to confess his freaking love to Sylvie, just... I would bang the table, but I can't, so I'm just gonna bang my leg. That, 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 that sounds, that... That's gonna have to do. But, bro, she freaking crossed, crossed the line. I, I hate her guts. I hate her guts. I hate her guts. First, she kills Mo, Mo, Mobius, and now Loki. Actually, yeah, she freaking kills Loki, which I freaking lost my insanity. I lost, I, I don't know, I had freaked out. I freaked out more. I, I freaked out even more when I freaked out for Mobius' death. Guys, oh my god, just, I freaking hate her guts. I hate her guts. I freaking hate her guts. Like, how I hated Hayward's guts in WandaVision. Also, Sif from uh, Thor 1 and 2 appears in this episode. Surprise cameo. That ends up being the crap out of Loki in a time loop. So, yeah, that was interesting. Also, is this she gonna be in Thor Love and Thunder? Still, still, still. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember some other stuff. I, 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 I'm already forgetting a lot of things. Oh my god! I swear to God, by the time I'm done recording this, I'm gonna remember something that I forgot to mention. I'm just gonna hate myself for it. But here's the thing. Now, here's the death part. I mean, so everyone that kind of died from getting pruned, just dusted away and stuff, they didn't really die. They just been taken somewhere. So that just means Mo Mobius and Loki are alive. But there's a the thing. Post credit scenes. What do we get? What did we get in the post credit scenes? Loki alive, but also Loki player. Okay, I tried to do like a Markiplier thing, like Markiplier, Loki Loki player. That doesn't make any sense. Well, in other words, there's a crap ton of Lokis. We like saw like three or four Lokis. One of them was a freaking crocodile. A kid, an old man, and one of them was freaking uh, Edward Ed, Ed, uh, Richard E. Grant, if I pronounce his name right. No, I I, I feel like I forgot his name. I just... Bro, this episode has gone insane. This is the craziest episode in the history of Marvel Disney Plus shows. Honestly, freaking honestly, this is the best episode in Marvel his Marvel Disney Plus history. This is the best episode in Marvel Disney Plus history. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Hang on. I, I have a like zero soup say that again. That makes me that makes me it's it makes me laugh but rats, bats. Yo, by the way, we're going to rest right here. Screw you! Yo. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, straight up. Screw you, bro. I, I got it. Dislike her greatly. Bro. <laughs> oh, straight up dislike her. I freaking hate her guts. But oh my god. For real, Kang has got to be behind this because Renslayer kind of survived and now Sylvie's going to get all the answers from her. So she's totally not a variant, but she's the puppet of Kang the freaking Conqueror. We have got to see Kang. Come on, he's he's got to appear in this episode. He's got to appear, whether it's in episode 5 or 6. But bro. I think they just pretty much just spoiled the finale, because if we saw, like, three or four Lokis, dude, we're going to get multiple Lokis in wherever the heck they are, which I guess is New York City, but completely destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed. 
Back it could be the to that it could be where Loki's timeline was where he had yeeted out of there with the test with the Tesseract and yeah, he's now back where he should have where he should be, but everything's yeah. But bro, this here's here's what just made this show even better. With that post card scene, it just teased that the finale is gonna be glorious. Yeah, yeah, glorious. That's the right word. That's the damn right word. The finale is going to be freaking glorious. Because Army of Loki versus TVA. Let's freaking get it. Let's freaking get it. Let's freaking get it. This is glorious. This is freaking glorious. This show is glorious. This episode was glorious. This... I'm losing my mind. I'm freaking losing my mind. Marvel's crazy. Marvel's crazy. They were crazy enough to have Peter Evans appear in Wonder Vision. Then again, they own... Fox and they pretty much own the actors for X Men, I guess. But bro, I, I as much as I want to think about the Spider Verse, I it changes everything. They, 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 I forgot what's what what what, what Soup says about this. I I'm just watching his watch party right now, but yo, know, it's what what did he say exactly? Like what did he say exactly? What is that exactly? Hold up, let me just rewind back. I, I would like to hear his thoughts, because, yo, I'm losing it. I'm freaking losing it. And guess who's still left standing? Ravona. Okay, so, uh, hold up, let me just rewind back. My uh, bro. Oh, they're Oh, they're shocked. <laughs> yo, Richard E. Kratz! Oh, it was Richard, Richard E. Gret. Bro! This show is bananas. Yeah, facts, facts. This show is not only glorious, it's awesome, it's freaking amazing, but it's also bananas, because Mar Marvel's got balls. Marvel's got balls. Marvel's got balls. <laughs> They're freaking nuts. They're freaking nuts. Marvel, what are you doing to me? You're driving me insane. I can't even, I, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm freaking not going to be able to sleep tonight. Not after what you just pulled off. Not what they just pulled off. The hell? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, Brad. Hold up. Richard E. Grant, bro. All the other Loki's Where did that come from? Is this one scratching my computer? Let me swear that. Is Mjolnir? Like what? Yo, and it, is this new, this is the new one? New York? Guys! Loki army versus the TVA. Bats, bats. Oh my god! This is insane. Oh my god! This show is also insane. It's bats, bats, bats. They just took it to a whole new level, bro. Whole new level. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Marvel, just, Marvel and Loki just took it to a whole new freaking level. They took, they took it to a whole new freaking level. Which is why Marvel's got balls. Marvel's got balls. To make us Marvel fans go freaking nuts, go freaking crazy. And as much as I want to think about the Spider-Verse and how to, how it makes sense for Toby and Andrew to be in Noe Home, I'm not even more confused. But hey, we got two more lessons from our teacher. And by that, I mean we got two more episodes from Loki. Because like I said, the Loki, I guess the Loki series is trying to, where the, the Wii Spider-Man fans are the students and the, the Loki series is the teacher and they're, the teacher is trying to explain us how it would make sense for Toby and Andrew to be in no home. But, bro, the, 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 now the teacher has just confused us. We got some homework to do. One of the homework is theorize, th theories, theorizing. I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep. I can't. I'm going to be thinking about this literally all night until I probably fall asleep. I'm going I'm to fall asleep in seconds, but... Just, oh my god. But bro, one thing, just actually three things I'm probably looking forward to. One, Logan and Sylvie. Okay, I'm sorry. I, that's like more than I just did this. Okay, that was cringy. Still, I, I, I need to see this confession happen. And especially the kissing. Mm. I need to see a kissing. Because bro, I guess this is the moment we're going for. The moment where I wanted to see who would be Loki's love interest, and that'd be that'd be freaking Sylvie. 
my shit, my shit is about to come true. And it was about to come true. Del freaking Renslayer cross the damn line, you son. You son of a beep, you freaking crossed the line. Screw you. Screw you, Renslayer. You're you're toast. Once once Sylvie gets all the answers, you're done. You're finished. You're you're screwed. Unless you took Sylvie away from her home, which is sick and horrible. Awful. Just oh my god. This is insane. This is insanity. But still, Loki, Sylvie. And two. Loki vs. TVA, and three, probably Mo Mobius uh, in a jet scene, or King the Conqueror, or something's virus lamp. I don't know, something exciting to happen in the finale. And, like I said, so everyone that got pruned basically does away with those stick things that technically kills them. They technically didn't die. They're just where Loki is, or where I guess a bunch of variants of Lokis are. Which is insane. It's insane. But what I'm trying to say is that Loki and Mo Mobius are still alive. So thank freaking God. So, yeah, thank freaking God for that. But I think I'm going to end it here. I, I, I'm, I'm still going insane. I'm probably going to remember something and then be pissed at myself for not bringing it up on the channel. But I can't calm down. I cannot calm down. I'm tr I, I'm really am trying to calm down, but I just can't. Freaking Marvel, 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 drop the Marvel, drop the bombshell for this episode. This is the greatest episode, and this is honestly going to be hard for me to rank all Disney Plus shows once I, once I watch all Disney Plus shows for MCU in 2021. You know, once I rank WandaVision, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, Loki, ranking all episodes for Loki is going to be the tough part for me, along with Miss Marvel, What If, and Hawkeye. Okay. But I will tell you what was my most number one anticipated show for Disney Plus MCU show once I make a video about that. And I need to make a video about that now. Well, bro. Loki's getting better. It's probably going to be in second place. But I'm not going to tell you what's in first place for uh, one of them. But it might change. Depends. Really. Then, but yeah, I will be doing a ranking on all Disney Plus shows for the MCU by the end of 2021. Once we're finished with Hawkeye. Or Miss Marvel. If must, you know, it depends really. But my money then. Hawkeye is going to come out around either November or December, and Miss Marvel between September and October. I'm going to write about this. I'm going to write about this. But, bro, I'm I'm going insane. Let me know your thoughts, comments down below. I'm going to probably watch Soup's Watch Party, see his and Brad's reaction. Also, shout out to Soup's and Brad or Lambert. Just, oh my God. I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't worry, once my, once they hopefully approve my reaction, my part one reaction of uh, Loki season one episode four, I'll release my reactions both parts. But yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Let me know your thoughts, comments down below. But yeah, shout out to Soups and Brad or Lambert, and go subscribe. Go, go, go follow them on TikTok and Instagram, and subscribe to their YouTube channels. And yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next. I get that talk correctly. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.